hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest. Let's be wrong. This is just to prove. Why be? Why be? Why come on here and have a good time? Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum. The moon landing didn't happen. Oh, sorry, I farted. What? Five hundred pound girl. Situation take deal. Hey girls, welcome back. We watched the first three episodes of our girls' newest diet plan. Let's continue. Hello, so welcome to episode four. Not in a good mood right off the jump because I did my weigh in. I was expecting to be down because if you guys remember in yesterday's episode, I was trying really hard not to binge and I did not cave. I did not order the McDonald's even though I wanted the chicken nuggets. I stayed within calories, but I was still up 0.2. She literally sounds like a big ass baby. And again, I don't believe in daily weigh ins. Our bodies naturally fluctuates, so these 0.2 pounds up and down is nothing. And I know a lot of people would tell me in this case, well, stop weighing yourself daily if you can't handle fluctuations. You're probably right, but I'm not going to stop weighing myself daily. How are we supposed to believe that you are serious and different this time when you were doing the same old things you were doing? And it looks like you know that daily weigh-ins are not good for you and you are still doing it. So I'm just going to have a cup of noodle. So... I forgot to say my actual weight. It was 484.8. I know that if I just keep staying on track, then the only thing that can happen is weight loss. I don't know, I was just expecting to lose weight, so I think that's what made me like, sad. And that's understandable, Gore. Of course you would expect to lose weight, but a 0.2 pounds gain is fine. However, if this keeps happening in the following days, then we know you are not doing things right, and you need to change that. Right, so next meal, we ordered from this place called Jason's Deli. I got chili and these, blue chips with salsa it is honestly so freaking delicious yeah but i bet the chili is not as good as your award-winning soup chili goal no i'm trying like because i know i'm gonna eat takeout and i'm gonna stop so what i'm trying to do is order from places that um like have their calories like already on the menu so i don't have to like sit there and like guess or anything like that no she is funny just because they have the calories it doesn't make it better goal that is the weirdest excuse to having takeout i have ever heard and I'm done telling her not to eat out, because we all know that's not happening. I just don't see her losing weight and recover her binge eating by eating takeout daily or twice a day. Have you girls ever heard of such thing happening to an obese person? Ready? Be honest. It's good. Not better than your chili though. Oh my god, why does everyone love my chili? You guys, we need to have a meet and greet and I'll make the chili. I'll supply the chili, you guys supply the drinks. <laughs> and here we go, the oh so famous chili soup is mentioned again. And at this point, we have to believe that Amberlynn's chili is good because Becky loved it and now YP loves it too. We're about to do a torrid moment. Uh, let's try her on. Woo. All right, guys. I love the buttons. I think it's super cute. <laughs> are my boobs too big? No. Okay. My boobs are actually kind of small for my body type. Your body type? Gall, I didn't know that was a body type. I hate these dress shirts she wears. It is ugly to me. Just buy the shirts and the cardigan. I like those. I will give this a 7. Okay, nope. As I was editing this, I absolutely hate it. I give it a negative 2 out of 10. This is a no for me. No, yes, Gaul. Now you see what we see. Those types of dresses just doesn't look good on you, Gaul. You have been spending thousands on Torrid, and you should know by now which types of clothes to buy. So there's like a rumor that I use a scooter. I don't. I actually have not used a scooter in a store in over a year. It's something I'm very, very proud of. Well, to be fair, you were not going out a year ago. And I haven't heard these rumors, Gaul. Are you sure you are not saying that to brag about not using them? I can't believe I just said that, Lowell. I'm not going to get them. <laughs> Sriracha socks. We have Fruity Pebbles. We have Pringles. You can tell I'm hungry. Lowell, you got to love Amberlynn. She is so hungry she is about to buy socks that have food on them. Also, never go grocery shopping when you are hungry because you end up buying things you shouldn't be buying. I thought everyone knew this. I like black socks, ankle socks, because I have lymphedema. So next meal, it's 750 calories, it is couscous. Is it worth it? <sighs> yes, because I'm obsessed with it. Amberlynn is just weird. How are you eating the same things every single day? And this looks dry as hell, but she is a dry gall. Okay, so we are gonna try a bunch of random snacks, but it's only gonna be one piece. She just finished eating 720 calories, and now she is doing snack taste test, and she is in the same position, so this is probably right after that. Gore, why don't you save the snacks for when you are hungry later on? And then obviously I'll calculate all the calories and I will let you guys know what it came out to right here for the snacks that I try. 
Now let's watch Amberlyn rate all the snacks she tried low. Nine. Oh wait, a six? That's it? I'm thinking like an 8.5. That's really good. I give it a seven. I found those in the store and I told her about them. She goes, ugh. And you just gave them a 10. Yeah. I'm gonna give it an eight. Just a little chip pay. 10. 11. I give it a seven. I'll give it a nine. A nine? I that one's my favorite. Like you can't even rate it out of 10 because it's like too good to rate. Calories for today, 1,711. That's not bad at all, goals. What do you think? I needed more water today. Like my lymphedema is swelling. Um, it's super, super swollen from the car ride, from uh, walking in the store. It's just like, so up top does look a little smaller while the bottom is bigger because of my lymphedema. I mean, I get the whole lymphedema thing, but Gaul, your bottom looks big because you are big. We have seen you for years and you are bottom heavy. Your thighs and legs are bigger and I don't think that's the lymphedema. Um, a lot of people can look at someone my size and be like, okay, well, if you ate 1800 calories, 1700 calories, you would drop weight really quickly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what they say, right? But I have lymphedema and whenever I go in the car, I swell and I retain water. And you are not doing yourself any favor when you are eating foods which are very high in sodium. You ate Raymond yesterday and chili which I'm sure was high in sodium gall. All the snacks you ate yesterday were salted I'm sure. So let's not pretend that we are eating healthy foods and gaining weight. Okay, I weighed in today at 485.6, so that means I'm up 0.8 of a pound from yesterday, which is frustrating because the day before I was up 0.2 of a pound, so that means the last two days I've gained a pound, even though I am eating way below 2,000 calories a day. It's just not as simple as people make it seem, like, oh, stay below this many calories. Yeah, for a lot of people it is that easy. Um, for me it's not. That's why people are telling you to stop eating out so much because you don't know what they put in those fast foods. But you told us that you know everything and don't want any advice. Well, here you go, Gaul. You're in day five and already gaining. All right, so I'm about to have my first meal, which is going to be what we got from the store last night. It is just a veggie roll. So I'm going to get some soy sauce, obviously. She just done crying about retaining water and how she gained water weight. And now she is having soy sauce as her first meal. No. I don't know if I like it. Don't come for me. I'm gonna have a creamy four cheese rice aroni, 250 calories. This is what it looks like. <laughs> They're so good, I promise. And then pineapple and strawberries. So this is 250. The fruit is 50, so 300 calories for you before. Again, all right. Now, here's after. Oh my gosh, it looks so much better. All right, baby, are you ready to see it for the first time? I'm ready, baby. All right, come on. Tell me what you think. Well, it looks so good, babe. Does it? Yeah. So up top. We have organization. Yes. I'm so done with these two. They are literally like children. Really wipey. It looks so good, babe. That sounded fake off low. It's like she is talking to a four-year-old. So next thing I'm eating is 520 calories. This is Hawaiian bagel. Yum. And then my girlfriend made a homemade uh, turkey burger. So this is the tiniest snack ever, but I just need something. So this is 135 calories. Something I have been taught an outpatient by not only my psychologist, but the dietitian is that when you are a binge eater, if you are craving something, eat it. Because if you don't, you will later binge on it nine times out of ten. And that has been the story of my life. I don't get it. You have been doing that your whole life. You are financially well off and you can afford eating whatever you crave. That's why we see you eat out twice a day. We have seen you travel two hours to get orange chicken. When have you not done that goal? So this is perfect example right now. I wanted to order tons of food, um, like a seafood boil moment. I wanted to order maybe like Cold Stone. So. I, I want to binge on thousands of calories instead i took something that i was craving which i've been having a lot lately is the kfc bowl and i really just want to eat this super quickly like that's another thing a lot of people are like okay so do you know the characteristics and the differences between overeating and like binge eating yes the big one for me is the mentality of it but another one is when i'm binging i eat so much quicker and i don't chew as much i take bigger bites and it's just like go what the hell are you talking about we have seen you eat fruits and salads, and you still eat fast as hell and you stuff your mouth. That's just how you eat. You said you want to do mukbangs so that you would eat slower. I didn't know that was only when you were binging low. So last night after I ended episode five, I did end up binging. I was having a pretty good night. And then I was actually watching a vlog where someone showed a bag of chips. That's all it took. Someone showed a bag of chips. And I felt insanely triggered from that. And then I could not stop thinking about food. I was angry. I was super anxious. I felt like if I didn't eat something, something bad was going to happen. Like I was fidgety. 
I don't want to dismiss anything she is saying, but it all sounds exaggerated. Can someone who has been through binging tell us their experience and if they have been through what she is saying? I'm actually going to show you what I binged on. Okay, so it started with a cup of noodle. I kept all the trash, which is fine. Okay, I was... It's a fucking cup of noodle. But then it just got worse. I ended up having one of these rice aronis. Caramel peanuts. Um, the container was, container was about that big. Um, I ate all of that. And then I ate a whole thing of plantain chips. And then this was like up to here. And now that's all that's left. The whole time as I'm eating these things, I am telling myself to stop. Oh yeah, and I also had a bunch of, not a bunch, but quite a few of these mozzarella balls. It is very interesting how she ate all the little snacks she bought the day before when she went grocery shopping. If you know you get triggered by seeing a damn chips on a vlog, why are you buying all these snacks every time you go shopping? Remember that she ordered KFC because she didn't want to binge and she was preaching about how she will eat slowly and enjoy her food. These are the things she is being taught the outpatient. We all see that it is not working. So what's the issue, Gore? Simply my body just feeling so sick because of what I did to it. I haven't binged that bad in a long time. It's been a long time that I binged like that. And I, after so many days of like just counting calories and eating less, my body is like not sure how to react, I guess. I don't know. Gaul is acting like she has been on a broccoli diet for the past six days. Your body is used to this shit by now, Gaul. Everything you binged on, you eat daily. And I don't even want to weigh myself because I already know. I already know. So I'm not gonna weigh myself. I'm not. And that's a personal choice that I'm making for myself. I'm only down 0.8 of a pound. It frustrates me because it's like, I can do everything right and my body still just does not want to lose weight. I, I don't get it. I, I was warned about this. They said, you know, menopause, after you get your hysterectomy, it's gonna be harder to lose weight, especially now you're in your 30s, like the whole nine yards, like. You are not doing everything right, Gaul, stop it. Why doesn't she go to a dietitian so that they can give her an eating program? I just don't get it. Everything you are doing including eating less, it is not working so take an action before it is too late Gaul. Also, you need to start moving more Gaul. She is not even talking about her steps anymore. Me counting my calories, me showing you guys everything I'm eating, especially with 500 pound girl. You guys have seen I am not eating that much food. Someone my size should be dropping weight, um, rather quickly actually. And I know that I'm like my quality of food isn't the greatest. Um, my quantity of food is in the right area, obviously calorie, right, calorie wise, but the quality that I'm eating is not good. You have been doing this for six damn days, Gaul. Let's count calories for a month and try not to binge, then we will see if this is working or not. Don't rush into quitting and starting another plan. The plan is not the issue. You are. So first meal of the day, my girlfriend's melting me some cheese, a uh, homemade turkey burger on a, this is Hawaiian bagel. I need to show you like the actual brand. I know I didn't see my psychologist today, but with her her advice, she does not think I should count calories, neither does the dietitian at the outpatient place. Um, and I've been counting them. I've been doing really good with that. You guys have seen it. I've just been counting, 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 counting. And I've been so bad last night that, yeah, you guys know all about that. So we're just gonna move on from that. I've, I'm done being angry, I'm done being sad. We're just gonna move on. And we're not gonna count calories. What does counting calories has to do with the binge? Typical Amberlynn quitting her diet on day 6 low. Also, you are eating the same things daily, so you don't need to count the calories. This bouncing back and forth is stupid, so try to either listen to the dietitian and start doing whatever they ask you, or do what you want to do. This half-ass trying you are doing is not going to work. I'm about to cook me something to eat. It's gonna be a chicken veggie kung pao moment. Now I'm just going to add some raw scallions. Um, sriracha and sesame seeds. Again, that's a lot of food gall. Just because it is homemade, it doesn't mean you can have three servings. A lot of people ask, why do you wear a cardigan all the time? Or how come you don't show your legs? Read the comments down below. The fat shaming? That's probably why. Yes, there are a lot of people commenting on her body, but you have been on YouTube for seven years, and in the early years you have never worn anything that showed your legs. You don't have to blame every insecurities you have on a score. Not counting calories, I'm thinking about food like drastically less. So here is my cucumber, uh, there's also mozzarella cheese, zesty Italian pepper and sesame seeds, and here is my tea. Here you go Gauls, she stopped counting calories but don't worry, she will be back on it the next week. What we do here is go back, 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 back.